New at four, some of the brightest minds in the world have converged on Georgia Tech's campus for the longest running collegiate aerial robotics challenge in the world. These are robots that can think for themselves and might help in natural disasters. And I found out what they are doing, it's really beyond impressive. These are thinking machines. These machines fly themselves. There's no human interaction whatsoever. 53 teams from 15 countries are competing in a challenge that no one has ever solved. We give students missions to do that are impossible at the, at the time that they're proposed uh, with the hope that they can solve problems that even the U.S. government can't currently do. Professor Robert Mickelson is the founder of the International Aerial Robotics Competition. Using their fully autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle, their mission is to herd the robots on the ground out of the arena. Right now, this unmanned aerial vehicle is scanning the grids right here before they do their actual test run. So they're going to scan the ground, see where the robots are, and they can't run into these pilings here or else they'll be disqualified. So we're going to wait and see how this team does. This would be used for jobs where you have dull, dirty, or dangerous tasks that are not really right for humans. I asked the students what they thought about getting to compete this week. If you complete it, you're the first one persons in the world to have ever done something like this and that's it's so amazing the kind of engineers that we're going to need in the future are going to be engineers that are well versed in all these different fields and this competition is also like a job interview for many of these students government officials are there recruiting students to work for agencies like the department of defense